As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. Far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Something you need? I am at your service, Captain. Scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Getting moved to Gagari. I have a feeling today is going to be a great day. Don't you agree? I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the nap. We're ready to depart.
prisoner instead of letting her roam free? The answer's still no. You know I didn't mean it that way. I was merely suggesting that you allow Mateo to... city with walls. Hmm. Quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree? There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger than my figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city, and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gale Bank. We'll be heading there. Spaceport's always a zoo. Watch it. 
Ships come in and go Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. Well, I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. You, you can hardly walk two steps steps without running into a bar. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? Security around you here is a joke. Trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you. Not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands the shot game's making fools of us all. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Um, uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? I, uh, I see what you mean. We've been in worse scrapes than this. We can handle being stuck in a bank. I ain't buying it. Nothing you say is gonna change... We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. 
But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? If the hostages die, it'll be the Marshal's fault for not taking us seriously. You have to believe me, we never meant to take hostages. Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. That's life. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Those guys are scared. I can tell. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Yeah. You're right. You gave those boys a chance, but now they have to lie in the bed they made. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. I'm sure everything will turn out just fine. You've got my girlfriend in there. If she gets hurt, hit her. Not great for business. I'd have to look good for the drama, I guess. here. Thank you so much. Now I have two heroes, Solomon Coe and you.
We owe you everything. I hope the Marshal gives you a big reward. Mira Wolf at the Low House could really use someone helpful. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? That's... that's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Free Star Collective, they're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them too. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives are on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Shimon, baby. Marco! Are you all right? Imagine living here. Your muscles look huge. Okay. Uh, I, I just need a minute. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, something was from an earlier generation. So it's not gonna be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. That we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. You're not wrong. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> Alright, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh... Code tradition. All right, shall we? Okay, we'll take it from here. Ah, is Solomon Cole really cool? That's The Rock, Ranger Central. Not a bad bar, too. My brother-in-law just got back from two weeks in Paradiso. Place looked amazing, but if I have to look at one more vacation photo, I'm gonna clean his clock.
Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if it'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. Stow some of that. Just a suggestion. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashta. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shawgang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Me too. But there's no help in it. We're gonna have to get through them and the local wildlife to get to that cave.
Places like this make you appreciate home.
Training for some. Today's not gonna be your day, pal.
Serena. Smugglers use caves like this everywhere. Sometimes you get lucky and find the damnedest things around. That's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. Least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grab something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. Saying I should cut my losses. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. Boss, it's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. We got company. Everyone, move up. I'm moving. Fire. Captain, reload. So generous. I guess I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost.
What are you still doing here? Out. Love the smell of getting back into the harness. Complete. 
You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Hey. At your service, Captain. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Just... what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right, we're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? <laughs>